Hi, and welcome to week four of the Soundwaves Quilt Along with the Calico Cat Quilt Shop. This will be our last week. We get everything finished up. Uh, we'll assemble rows and take a look at finishing our quilts. So I'm going to switch here. And we should have all of our rows done now. So now it's just going to be a matter I'm going to lay my rows out here. There's the first row and the second row, third row, and then you're not really going to be able to see the fourth row, but it's right here. And all I'm going to do is the same thing I was doing with the blocks. It's just a really big, long block. And if your quilt is bigger, then it's a really long block. But I'm going to just match my seams up, get them nested together, and the same as putting the blocks together. If I need to change one, the direction that one of them's pressed, then I'll change it. And I'm just going to put a pin on the side that's going to come to my machine first. So I'm going to start here and pull my pins out as I get to them. And it looks like a lot of my seams are already pressed in opposite directions, so that's very helpful. So get this one, and I'm just gonna keep going all the way down to the end. And it takes a little bit of time because I'll have to slow down for each intersection but when you get great results, it is completely worth it. And what I'll probably do here once I get this one all pinned, I'm going to go ahead and take my next two rows, put them right sides together, and go ahead and get this one pinned and ready to go. Because then I'll do them at the same time. I mean, I can, I can stitch both of them while I'm at my machine. And not have to keep coming back and forth. And if you have more rows, then I would just take the next two rows, pin those right sides together, and do the same thing. And then you come back. Once you get these rows put together, I would come back, press these rows, and then join my pairs of rows together and then my quilt top will be done so not a whole lot left to do once you have your quilt top put together then you have to decide what you want to do for quilting whether you want to tie your quilt I'm gonna put this one aside or quilt on your machine, or maybe you have a long arm, or maybe you know somebody with a long arm, or maybe you take it to somebody, um, however you want to get it done. But normally you're going to have a little extra backing and batting. That way if everything shrinks up a little bit when you're quilting, then you've got that to spare. And after you get done with that, you're going to want to come back and trim whatever way works for you. And so I'm just going to show you that. I'm going to try and get these corners pretty square. And just get all of that excess off. Okay, so I have a nice edge. 
and then going along this long edge I can take my 24 inch ruler and a little bit I'm lining this up with the edges of the blocks And because they were two and a half inch strips, it should come pretty close to two and a quarter inches to get to the edge. But you can see it's not going to be completely perfect. And that's okay. But I'm going to line things up a little here. And you can see I'll be taking a little bit off there. But you won't even notice it in the end. And then maybe I want to switch back to my square ruler. And get things lined up as square as I can get them. And you would do this around all of your quilt edges. And I'm just going to go that far. And then you have to decide how you're going to bind your quilt. And there's lots of ways to get that done. And that's going to be uh, an entirely separate video that I'm going to show you about binding. And I will make sure there's a link to that in with this video. I hope you've enjoyed the Soundwaves Quilt Along with the Calico Cat Quilt Shop. Thanks for watching and take care and enjoy the process.